What's going on everybody? I'm Steven and this is Build Brothers and today we have a really quick one for you that will hopefully be helpful if you guys have gotten a service airbag light in your Chevy Volt. Mine is a 2012 and I just got in the car nothing happened I didn't crash um, I wasn't doing any work to it and all of a sudden I get in and I see service airbag right on the screen I'm like what the heck is that it has a little check airbag light and it's crazy so I didn't know what was going on I figured it could be the module could be a bad airbag sensor I don't know but I kind of panicked a little bit did some research it can cost eight hundred one thousand dollars to fix and I'm like come on really I didn't crash nothing happened why is this happening but I found out after some research that it's super simple so here's what the light looks like and here's all you have to do. So after some research, I looked into it and I went out to the car to check. And somebody in the forums said, in the Chevy Volt forums, said to check and see if your seat is damp. And I'm like, what in the world? Why would my seat be damp? Well, I'll explain why. My, my daughter, my, my little nine-year-old daughter, I picked her up and we went to the store together. Well, it was nice out, so she rolled the window down. I generally don't have anybody in the passenger seat, so, you know, I don't even think to check that stuff. So I get home, plug the car in, go about my business. Starts raining, don't think about it. Go out to my car, turn the car on, sure enough, that light's on. After I read that, I checked, well, why would my seat be damp? I touch the seat, sure enough, it is totally wet. And I'm like, what in the world? So I look up, and the window's all the way down. She left it open in the rain. And so, apparently, there's some form of... Uh, I don't know if it's the airbag sensor, you know, there's, there's a pressure sensor from someone sitting in the seat which will activate or deactivate the passenger airbags, or if there's some form of module under there, but in any event, it was that. So, I rolled the window up, of course, wiped down the door and all that stuff, which doesn't matter. But, all I had to do was let it dry. Now, of course, you can buy, um, like a Arm & Hammer baking soda kind of thing that you sit in your car, that'll help dry it. There's some other drying stuff you can buy, those little packets that absorb moisture. And you might want to because water sitting in your car will smell over time. You could vacuum it out if you have a, a, a wet vac. You can do a bunch of things, but really all you have to do is just let it sit there and dry. If it's a nice day out, roll your windows down, let the sun hit it, and let it dry. And honestly, the next day that airbag light was off. And it cost me nothing. So. Don't panic too much if that's your issue. Check your seat, and even if it doesn't feel wet, maybe let the air, uh, the car air out a little bit and give it a shot because more than likely, that's all it is. If it is something more, you might need to check codes um, and, and possibly take it to the dealership, but I do recommend fixing it yourself because there's a lot of things you can do yourself and sometimes it costs nothing. So I hope this was helpful to you. If you like the Chevy Volt content, like and subscribe. If you like... Mustang content. That car is going to be back before you know it. Less than a week we're going to have it back in our hands. And the twin turbo 240Z is just about ready to get on the road. So make sure you follow those builds because we have videos coming out left and right. And uh, yeah, so share with your friends. Like, comment, subscribe. And until next time, see you.